Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. They're desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then.
What was that? Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Excuse me, can you tell me where to go, please? It's just up these stairs. Right that way, sir. Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. Oh, uh, hello, HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm, what are you thinking? Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety, or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead, make my day. Target acquired, Robert Knox. Aw, oh, crap. Shit. Robert Knox down. No. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt like Empire. Nice. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox.
Let me hey, you what's up? This is different from Grand Prix in that it's all about which team can go the distance. Fuel efficiency and reliability. That's as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. So did Dr. Sorensen manage to get Sierra Knox's phone number? I heard him arguing with that Kronstadt lawyer earlier. No, didn't have any luck. Once he's done Mr. with that Durant, other driver... I'm gonna have to ask you to get a move on that. I have Sierra Knox coming in next for a post-race IV vitamin. I don't want to keep her waiting. I'm doing my best here, Doc. Surely you must be able to squeeze out a few drops, Mr. Durant. You've inhaled around a gallon of water by now. I'm doing the best I can over here, Doc. Sorry, man, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now, okay? Go, go, go! Think of running water. Oh, oh that did it. I'm running water. Of course. Ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep that tap running. Doc, that was amazing. I'm done. Left my sample in the bathroom. I guess I'll just uh, head out now and let you get to your next patient. Bye. The race is entering its final lap, 47. Oh, doctor. Hey there, big guy. Oh, so happy. All done here, nurse. So, uh, how about that dinner? Uh, I don't think so, Mr. Durant. Have a nice day. Oh, doctor. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm guessing you're here to replace Dr. Sorensen. I, um, I forget your name, sorry. Dr. Reaper. Oh, yes, of course. Well, whenever you're ready, you can page Miss Knox. I know she's very eager to get her vitamin boost. I'll prepare for her arrival. Forty-seven. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now.
Paging Miss Knox. Paging Miss Sierra Knox. The doctor will see you now. been puked on yet today? Miss Knox, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. All right, Doc. Where'd you want me? Miss Knox, come on in. Have a seat and relax. So, what's on the menu? Something that'll take care of this Hideous pain in my neck, I hope. I promise. Once I'm done, you won't feel a thing. So what's in this thing anyway, Doc? Mostly floral extracts, hemlock, belladonna, aconite. It's designed to be fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. I like that. Wait, wait belladonna? Isn't that poisonous? Yes. Should I be concerned? I'm not. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Hope you're having a good time. Hey, you know what? I do feel refreshed. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure, Miss Knox. Uh, I... I don't feel... I don't feel well, Doctor. Don't worry. It'll be over soon, Miss Knox. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. What the hell are you doing? Is that a person? Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> 
Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 